can't believe you forgot. One day, just one day, you can't even romance me. Ta-da! <laughs> what, what am I seeing? Huh? You brought me funeral flowers on our anniversary. I won't cook, I won't clean, huh? and I most definitely will not let you quality me correct until you romance me. Do you know who you're talking to? The first eyes to become blind then. I'm going to ask you this once and once only. Are you still a virgin? Damn! Don't forget to like, subscribe, thumbs up, holler at your girl. Make sure you follow me on all platforms, y'all. Hey, and I'm going to do this. I'm going to try this. And I'm chilling with a friend and a sister, an industry <laughs> sister. Yetunde Odu, um, uh, Yetunde Oduwale. Yes. Do you know any called Wale? Yes, I do actually. He's my cousin. Uh, and mm. I'm uh, the designer. Adebayo Jones is my cousin. Your cousin. Well. Yes. No, you, me and Yinka went to secondary school together. Really? <laughs> it's a small world. It is a I small world. I hope he's watching. World. You do know he's my cousin as well, DJ Casey. It's a lie. It's a truth. Okay. <laughs> DJ Case is coming on next. Yes. How are you doing, Yeti? I'm fine. I'm awesome. fabulous. Thank you the so much for having you, me. The clip showed you, and what that one minute clip did basically was like a montage of some of the stuff you've done. Yeah. Um, I think you came into a lot of prominence with Media the Banjos. I did. How did I you did. get on that? Oh, my God. Okay, so Media the Banjos was 2010. And nine years ago already. Yes, nine years ago. So um, Deborah reached out to me. She said, oh, you know, we want to do... Who's the producer? Yeah, yeah Deborah, yeah. do to you. We want to do a family show, a Nigerian family show. Are you interested? So I'd auditioned such a long time ago, like during the summertime. I didn't hear anything for months. And I auditioned again, and I didn't hear anything. And then one day they called me, and they said, oh, you know, um, can you meet us in Brixton? Because that's where the office was. So I met them on a Friday, said, oh, we're going to start filming on Monday. We want to offer you the role of um, Gladys. But the problem is we really feel as if, you know, you're not as motherly as, you know, you should be. And I'm standing there thinking myself anyway. So motherly role. Mahesh, is, but, you know, you're too, you know, spes 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 and then mm. I was really, I'm like, we have packaging saying. now. I was really skinny and slim. She said, you know, you need to be more motherly. And what she didn't realize was actually I was pregnant during that time. So I'm going to come with you and your pregnancies <laughs> and, and this event. I yeah. know, but the only just anyway. We, she gave me the script on Friday. I had to go home and start learning the script. Mm -hmm. And by Monday, chicken, everything was good to go. It's you now. You know, mm -hmm. and um, they picked, and it was one of the things, I, I'm always, always grateful to Wale Ojo. He really pushed for me to go because myself and Wale have known Shout him out to was, Wale Ojo, very yeah. good friend. And he was one of push that he said, "Listen, I want you today. We have a great rapport, great energy, and a lot of people used to think that me and him were boyfriend and like we were in a relationship because oh. we had this sexual tension. We used to just be friends and just flirt with each other and really Anything have we a need good to know time. For the record. Oh no, no, no! Me and him were just good friends, <laughs> okay. but we just played off the you know the potato and mm. all the things. And he would come, you know, he was one. He was one that came up with this, my sweet potato, mm. and I started laughing. So that was how I got me there, the banjos, and it has opened so many doors for me." with other TV shows. I mean, I've done Youngers. I've just recently done another show with BBC um, Three on iPlayer and it's on BBC One, actually, sorry, mm -hmm. called Enterprise. And I also play a mom. I'm like the go-to Nigerian mother in everything. So, yeah, so it's... Let's it's, talk about Youngers. Yes. <laughs> and that was 2014, 15? Good Lord, no, this was 2000. Youngers was, I was actually, I had a baby. So this was, with Youngers, I was pregnant with my second child. See, you and this, you're always pregnant before you go. It's, 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 it's like the way my children bring a lot what of are you, blessings. What, what are you working on next? <laughs> <laughs> Are you pregnant by any <laughs> chance? <laughs> <laughs> Immaculate conception, I mean. So, with youngers, um, they, um, I auditioned when I was eight months pregnant, actually. No, tell almost full time. I was for almost seven and a half months pregnant. I didn't hear anything for three weeks. So, they called, my agent called me, uh, Femi Oguns, who's also yeah. the agent for John Boy. Shout out to Femi Oguns. And he said, you know what, I want to stand you up. There's a show, and I really think you're going to get it up. Because me and him, we did a, pl a play together in 2007 called Torn at the Arcola Theatre. I'm sure you remember of coming course. to see that play. So, they auditioned me while I was pregnant. And they said, can you sing your song? Can you do this? I read the script. I did everything. And they're like, well, you're looking at me like, ah, this 
when it's pregnant. Like, oh, don't worry, you know, I'm just. We will deliver. We will deliver. The <laughs> before we deliver the baby. <laughs> so anyway, so that was in um, uh, I think I was seven and a half months pregnant, almost eight months pregnant. So I didn't hear anything for three weeks, and then they offered me the role, and we started filming officially on the 24th of September in 2012 mm -hmm. and I was still pregnant by the 12th of September because very heavy sorry, now and I was I was two weeks overdue so they were like I went for on set don't have a baby on the set too wait now I, so the week before they were like we're doing uh, reading what's going on I said you don't worry <laughs> just my my filming was the following week so I got induced on the uh, I got induced on Sunday night delivered Sunday night stroke Monday got discharged on Tuesday and went on set to start working on me on youngers with my baby on Wednesday, so I had fitting. The next day? Two days after. I basically delivered on Monday, got discharged on Tuesday, went to work on Wednesday with my, my one day old, two day old baby, and I was on set. So the first day we did costume, everything, rehearsals. That's tight. And then on the Monday, which was just seven days old, I took her with me. And bearing in mind, I had a one year old and I had a seven day old baby because my children are exactly 12 months and six weeks apart. So my mom, God bless her. She followed me. No mothers, they're all amazing. She was like, she's been my rock. So as I was breastfeeding. And your mom, you say, is extremely special to you. She's an yeah. amazing woman. She has, I mean, I would give her the world. I mean, we have her ups and downs, but she's an amazing sh woman that she's been somebody, be a rock. You mm. know, you hear this, mm. my mother's beyond gold. And so, yeah, so as I was filming younger, I'll be breastfeeding the baby. Though, Yetune, can you come on set? I'll go on set, film my role, go back, relax with the baby. And then, you know, but I'm the, by the second, like, a couple of days later, my mom said, ah, this thing is too much. Leave this baby at home. So I left her at home for a whole day, which was the hardest thing to do. I mean, imagine I've just given birth. So I was oozing milk everywhere. <laughs> I had to be popping now, the thing the, all the, over the place. And which will make me ask now is like, um, was that role that important at the time? It was very important to me personally, yeah. in my, because I felt that it was something I needed to do. Mm. Imagine having just been pregnant, getting a role, and all of a sudden you're getting on stage and, sorry, on set and you're doing it. One of the things I liked about the, the, the uh, youngers was the fact that it was such an eclectic group of people. Indeed. It was very urban, white, black, everybody was in it. Well, you it was, played a very Nigerian role. I, yeah, as always, played a very Nigerian role. A nurse. Are you still moment. a virgin? <laughs> <laughs> That's a killer line. Oh, well, great. That thing, I'm like, I felt so sorry for my son. Like, I, you know, imagine I was such an embarrassing mother. But I felt for her, you know, the fact that here she was, you know, with children. Her husband was in Nigeria. And you wouldn't believe Wale played the husband as well. In Youngers. In Youngers. But you never see him. But, you know, he also played the, you know, you hear his voice. Yeah. You know, that kind of thing. It was very in a important role because I liked the way that it was it portrayed us and the fact that it portrayed black urban children in a very positive light. Mm -hmm. Yemi was going to school, he fell in love, he had a girlfriend, you know, his other, you know, his friend, I can't remember, you know, such a long time now, but um, he was also there. It was really, really nice um, sitcom. In fact, that it showed us ups and downs of black culture, urban culture. That, you know, there was no gung violence, there was no thing, nothing negative, but it was very, very positive. It also had some slight things of you know dropping out of school not doing well in your grades mm -hmm. but it also showed a beautiful way of showing urban culture and also um i know you're a very very you know um frequent face with yeah. commercials adverts i know you do a lot of stuff like that but you also did a Nollywood film last year. Yes, I did. Talking Dolls. Yes, I what did. What was that experience like? Oh, my God. I think Talking Dolls, everybody saw me in a very different light. Mm. I played a very evil character. Everybody's so used to seeing me playing comedy and laughing Fun. and smiling. Uh, Auntie Mary was just this woman. She was a conniving hide your husband's kind of woman. She okay. would be sleeping boko, with somebody's husband, you know, boko, boko, as they said, sleeping with somebody's husband, talking to them, oh, Remy, how are you now? And it was really, I mean, I remember when we went to the cinema to watch it, everyone was like, oh, there was just the, the way the audience would just react. And even at the end, they're like, ah, you're so dead, is that you? I'm like, no, it's not me, but I think I played it so convincingly. Mm. I love Talking Dolls. Um, Mark Edigbeshin, he did such Mark an ama Shout out to Mark amazing, 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 uh, you know, Sukio Duale as well. He's not Sukia, related, yeah, yeah. but you know, we have the same surname. Amazing director. Mark is a producer. Their camera angles was so fantastic. I think that was the best UK film for last year. It was. UK produced it was, film. It was not last, it was two years oh, ago. Oh, two years ago. Yeah, for, but uh, we won time. so many awards. I even won Best Actress for the Cameroon, so Best Supporting Actress as well. I won with that. And that was oh. so fantastic. And that year, um, I was in two films, so I had Lodgers with, um, you remember AY? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That so one, best yeah, short film. One, yeah. And then the other film I was in, that one, best. That's Kenny, Kenny. Yeah, yeah Kenny Ogunola. Yeah, yeah. So and that one is one of 
about over 30 awards all over around the world. So in one in that Great same Afro Nollywood, we won two awards. There were two films I was in that won awards that night, which was fantastic Good for year. me as an actor. Yeah. Now, we have a minute to go, so I'm going to just roll it. I know you do... You have a YouTube channel. Yes, I do. Where you do uh, makeup <laughs> and uh, that, I think that's like your little, little thing. It's my little thing. And, 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 and that works. And you also said you've always wanted to be a lawyer. Any Original, chance of that happening? Oh, good Lord, no. My grandfather's a lawyer. My uncle is a lawyer. My auntie is a lawyer. I'll explain. I come from a family of lawyers. Okay. And I decided, I went to study school. I went to, and I, I mean, I studied law. Mm -hmm. But in my heart, I always knew I wanted to be an you actor. You studied law? I actually went to school. I have a law degree. Okay. I was going to be a barrister because I enjoy, I love to argue. Anybody that knows We can me, tell. Hey, Mugbeng, <laughs> I can't talk, as you know. But I've always wanted to be an actor. Mm. So when I was finishing my degree and I went to my parents and said, I don't want to do this anymore. I want to be an actor. And, and I think... The sh I was expecting like, ah, Mugbe, after all these years, but they were really supportive. Do your thing. You know, go for it. And I'm really happy that, you know, at this age, I mean, <laughs> God willing, I'm still getting the roles. I'm still being, you know, asked to come and do certain things. And I'm hoping for bigger, better things. Because the talent speaks for you. Exactly. <laughs> Yeti, thanks so much. Thank you so much for having me. Well, no, we're going to do it again sometime <laughs> soon. I hope so. And I know you're going to have a fantastic 2019. Girl, awesome. <laughs> of course you. Okay. <laughs> My next guest coming up is veteran and superstar DJ DJ Casey. And we're going to be having the last two segments together, so stay tuned.